In November 1948, the Gloucestershire citizen carried a story. Soap, 57 years old. 57 years ago, a Sidderford woman was given a tablet of soap by her stepmother to use when she was bathing her baby. She did not have a baby and the piece of soap remains intact to this day. Mrs Robert Reed of 18 Upper Bilston, Sinford, does not intend to use it. The sentimental value is too great. It was Mrs William Butler of Seven Stars Road who bought the tablet of soap 57 years ago and handed it to her, her stepdaughter Mrs Annie Hawkins, now aged 79, and living at Castleton near Cardiff. Mrs Hawkins did not have a baby and passed on the soap to her niece, Mrs Reed. Yeah, my name's Dawn Brown. Um, I'm cousin to Alison and niece to Joy. My memory of um, Nan Reed. <laughs> uh, yeah, she was she was lovely, but she only ever <laughs> she only ever lived in a front room, didn't she? Because that was <laughs> the only room she would eat. I think because mm. of the war, mm. made her quite thrifty. So she would only heat one room and she would sit in front of the, the fire, we had an electric bar on, but it was really cold. She'd have one electric bar on, uh, sat in the front room, yeah. But yeah, she was very kind. Mm. She always looked after me if my parents went on holiday. And if I had a bath there, mm. I was allowed six inches of water. <laughs> no more, and it had to be lukewarm six inches of water in the bath. Yeah, she, she, was, she was a real character. Yeah. On Sundays... Um, when I went there, she, she used to take me down to the church, the mission church, and if I was very good and sung, whatever, mm. I had to sit on the back row, and if I was good, I was allowed to ring the bell. <laughs> um, that was a treat. Yeah, I think that's the her way of getting me to go there every Sunday was because I was allowed <laughs> to ring the bell. Um, I was a member of Nan Reed. I used to store things up in the top of the wardrobe, and... One of the things she used to show me was a bar of soap that she'd been given many, many years ago and had never used. And it was a carved piece of soap with a carving of, we found it, it's Gladstone on there. And she'd had it for so long. I was always amazed it actually went through the war and never got used. The fact it was a piece of soap had been given to her and, um, yeah, she stored it, never used it, kept it in, um, in a, a metal container up in the top of the wardrobe. And she used to show it to me every now and again, you know. It was one of her little curiosities. Yeah, I'm not sure who the shoes belonged to. That's why I brought them today for uh, Auntie Joy. Because um, I wasn't sure if they were either Auntie Joy's or my father's, the shoes, because they're very old, um, leather. Um, so I don't really know. But all I know is they were in the wardrobe for so long I didn't have the heart to throw them out. Mm -hmm. And the mug has got um, the old co-op on it. Very, very old. Um, and she used to show me that, but obviously she used to just keep the soap in it, so it's get shown at the same time. Yeah, so obviously when, when she did pass away, cleared everything out, and that was up in the top of the wardrobe. I always remember it because she'd always used to show it to me. And I kept it, obviously, because I didn't want it to be destroyed or thrown away. Yeah, I kept it just on the top of my wardrobe, like tradition, really. <laughs> yeah.